Hi everyone, David Kessler here. Welcome to my studio. Today I want to talk about a question that a lot of people ask me all the time. Why do you teach painting workshops? Lots of times we'll be out at a social gathering or something and somebody that I, maybe I haven't seen them for a while, a couple of three years, will say, well, what's happening with you these days? And I say, well, I'm living the dream, baby. I'm out there traveling the country teaching people how to be better painters. And they look at me funny and they say, well, Dave, I thought you were an architect. Well, for 28 years, I was an architect. Uh, for many years, it was, um, you know, my greatest passion, designing buildings. <clears throat> doing good things for people that way. But then I started painting and the passion for painting and teaching people how to be better painters was more important to me than my building. And gradually the passion for painting and teaching grew. My passion for designing buildings lessened. Here's my story. Uh, as painters, do you ever find that you're struggling uh, that you can't seem to grasp concepts of how to put a composition together or how to make colors work. Uh, you don't know how to make a center of interest. You don't know anything about values or shapes or any of the things that are important to, to painting. That was me. That exact, that's exactly what happened. Uh, I was sort of an older, came late to painting, I guess you'd say. I was 31. Um, you know, we're talking about pre-internet days. You can't just type into Mr. Google and say, hey, you know, how do you paint? Or how do you make a composition? So when I first got my watercolor gear, I started as a watercolor painter, um, I thought, well, gosh, this is gonna be easy. And then I thought, once I got into it, I thought, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So I signed up for a local uh, community college for some classes. Horrible, absolute waste of time. Uh, <clears throat> the teacher didn't actually paint anything. So I didn't know what it looked like for anybody to paint. Show me how to paint. They didn't talk about how do you make a composition on a two-dimensional paper, a sheet of paper. They didn't talk about values or design or anything. Look, I'm a design guy. I spent my whole life as a design person. All right, talk to me about design. How do I design something on a two-dimensional composition? I had no idea. Here's the worst part. I struggled for 10 years, 10 years, nobody but my wife and me ever saw any of my paintings, 10 years. This is how long it took me to figure out how to do these things. Right. So the main reason that I teach people how to paint and to be better painters is to reduce this learning curve. Gradually, gradually and very slowly, I started to find some resources to help me in this 10-year struggle. Now, the two best things I ever found were two books by Frank Webb, who's a, who's a phenomenal painter and a great workshop instructor. These two books taught me how to make a design on a page for a painting. How to make a value study. What are values? Here's how you design a composition. Here's how you keep somebody's eye in the painting. These two books really taught me everything I knew at the time about how to make a painting, how to do a design. Great books. Anybody that hasn't read these two books needs to read them. And look, look what I've done here. Look at these. Look at that. That's what I do to books. Look at all that stuff in there. That's good stuff right there. I mean, you know, these taught me. This is what I found. These and a couple of VHS tapes, and that was it. Right? That was it. So finally one day, I'm talking to uh, an artist friend of mine. She says, you know something? There's a really good artist here in town. And I think that if you took one of his workshops, it would be very beneficial for you. I think it would really um, move your painting ahead and that maybe some of these things that you've been struggling with will come together. He said his name's Sterling Edwards. So I looked up Sterling Edwards. Uh, actually, I found a flyer for his workshops. Uh, there again, this is not, you know, internet savvy time. Um, so I actually called the number, I think, and uh, talked to his wife, and she signed me up for the workshop. So remember, I had 10 years here, 10 years worth of struggle and toil 
and horrible failure paintings and nothing going right and uh, difficulty in design and compositions, everything, right? But I've been studying, I've been working, I've been working, working. Nothing really works yet. So I get into Sterling's workshop and these 10 years come together and congeal. I mean, it's unbelievable, right? I mean, in 10 years, I'm not expecting anything to happen. I mean, I'm just about to give up as a painter because I just can't figure it out. In Sterling, in a three-day workshop, all of, the, all of the struggle, all of the work comes together, congeals for me in a three-day period after 10 years, right? He showed me how to do paintings, talked about composition, talked about values, how do you layer paint, all this stuff. All the stuff that I needed at the time that I needed. It was incredible. It was a true epiphany. If you ever talk about epiphany or hear about somebody having an epiphany, think, ah, that stuff never happens. Look, it does happen. It happened to me. It was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. So after that, I just started painting like a madman. And I realized that if somebody can make that much difference in somebody's life, in their painting life, and their ability to create something in a three-day workshop, then maybe this is something that I need to consider doing. So I worked very hard, very hard for, uh, you know, the next five or six years. I was asked to teach a watercolor workshop uh, by a local art supply store. And about the third or so, you know, it was rough at first. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I've never taught before. I mean, I barely paint myself. This guy asked me to teach. I said, okay, I'll teach. Sure, I'm not going to turn down this opportunity, right? But I didn't know what I was doing. So the first few classes are a little bit rough until I'm sort of honing, you know, what we're going to talk about and all that. But it soon, uh, it soon, I soon realized that, you know, I was making a difference. That the things that I had learned, I'm passing on to these other people. And it was making a difference in the way they painted. And I thought, this is pretty great. I'm making a difference in somebody's life in a class once or twice a week. So really, that's it. Uh, there's no sort of, sort of magic potion and all of a sudden I was a great painter. Uh, but I went from that, from a 10-year from a struggle of not knowing how to do anything to make, and, and doing just horrible, horrible paintings to now traveling the country in high demand because people want to know from me how to be a better painter. That's the story, right? It's a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of attention to what you're doing, and a lot of need to uh, be better. But I do it so I can make a difference in the way people paint and the way they think about painting so that it makes their lives better. Because art will make your life better if you can create things and be happy and be joy-filled. Right? That's it. I mean... Not a glamorous story, right? But that's the story. So until next time, thank you, and I'll see you again.